I would like to talk today about the teeth cleaning habits of ancient civilizations. Oh my. So do you know about any ancient civiliza- civilizations and their, and their, their I read a book dental habits? called The Beach, which was turned into a reasonable movie with Leonardo DiCaprio. Mm, terrible first 20 minutes. Awful. Ter- oh, okay. you got, you've got to get through those 20 minutes. I don't even remember the first 20 minutes. Oh my minutes. goodness. Um, anyway... Uh, and in this book, they they're like some you know backpacker kids, and they go off to some island in Thailand and live there, and they don't have any equipment. I remember this because I was like, "How do you brush your teeth?" And they were using like sticks and stuff, or like they were chewing on twigs. So I think that's about that. There's the extent of my knowledge. Yes, there was okay. So there, it basically, it all started with with twigs and um, uh, twigs and sort of they were shaving the twigs so that they had little bits that could get in between their teeth and everything like that. I mean, the the, the first modern toothbrush, as we know it, was made in 1780. Uh, it was developed by a man in prison, what was his name? William <laughs> William Addis, who drilled ho- a, a hole through a sheep's tibia <laughs> that he managed what? to get hold of <laughs> in prison, okay. and then uh, pulled through the bristles of, of a boar's hair. Uh, sorry, the bristles of a boar. What was he doing? Where did he get all this equipment in prison? <laughs> well, this was 1780. 1780. No, 1718, so I'm sure things were a bit more laxed back then but <laughs> maybe he was sharing maybe his his roomie was a was a bore or something similar yeah, to yeah. that but but that's that yeah i mean you 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 wouldn't get that into prison these days you make a shank well i was thinking like he made a toothbrush so he could make a shank <laughs> I don't know, don't they turn too friendly? That's, that was a terrible joke. In 1718, I'm sure <laughs> shanks were not too much of a thing. Okay. But uh, no, all right. So, all right. So let's jump back to the Roman times. Mm-hmm. So the Romans, the Romans uh, were big fans of gargling urine. Uh, <laughs> Naturally. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you? Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm gargling urine right now. <laughs> this is high quality Earl Grey, sir. Um, no, no, but uh, basically... <laughs> <sighs> Gargling urine since, Sorry, since carry on, since, Sam. I'm interrupting all over your segment. Since 1988. But, uh, were you born in 1988? 87. Ah, there you go. I, I cut a year off your life. All right. <laughs> so, uh, no, basically, what happens is if you leave urine out, it turns into basically pure ammonia. And ammonia uh, has is used in all cleaning products. It basically will pull all, all of your all of your stains out of your teeth. And so, as you're gargling it around your teeth, it, wor- it works as basically a natural mouthwash. Okay. And I actually just have happen to know that they had a special vase for it i haven't even got this in the notes i just know this i learned this at school they had a special vase for it where they left it uh for weeks at a time and it would turn yeah. into this ammonia and so you'd have basically the, the piss vase and it would and then you'd and they'd be gargling they'd this. lift it like this kind of do like a big oh. a big full mouthful like an overflowing down the face mouthful of, right. uh, of 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 urine and um and and they gargle it about and that would keep their teeth fresh they would also use it to whiten their togas dude ammonia they must have smelt bad oh they must have smelled because like pee i feel doesn't smell bad but like if i forget to flush the toilet here and then i come back in the next day it's gonna smell bad <laughs> like it does it's not wrong you just said that on the air <laughs> well i'm not wrong am i no no it does smell this because i don't flush that toilet in the day like the, like i'll piss in it all day and then i'll flush it at the end of the day but sometimes i forget because i don't want to waste the water well there is the old saying isn't that if it's yellow ye- if, it's if it's yellow, yellow let, let it mellow, mellow. If, if it's down, down flush it down. down and that's not true because it doesn't mellow it just gets worse and worse and oh, worse yeah. no it's not mellowing doesn't mellow Mm-mm. doesn't there's no mellow no way uh but yeah, I mean, if we move actually backwards, I assume this is backward. It would have been round about the same time. So the ancient Egyptians. Well, if we if it's if we're going from seventeen eighty, we're definitely going backwards. No, well, well, we we, we jumped forward. I'm, I'm sorry, my my chronology my oh, chronology yeah, right, is, is, is everywhere. Okay, so well, we went back Egyptian to the Romans. times. In, Adi- in Egyptian times, uh, it has been noted that there were, they found a they found a not a square, not a papyrus but like, like a rock that contained the. Um, uh, that contained the recipe for what they count as the first official actual toothpaste. Okay. Uh, so early ingredients I- ingredients included the powder of ox hooves, ashes, burnt eggshells, pumice. I feel like in the past they just mixed random shit together <laughs> and blow, like let's see how this works. Well, do you know what? Actually, I don't even know what pumice is. Pumice is oh, you, it's you that volcanic rock. Is the, rock, the yeah the the rock you can get a pumice stone oh, yeah, and yeah, scrub yeah. your so feet. Like, oh yeah, yeah. Scrub I your never feet do and get that. all the gross, disgusting crap off people's feet. I like feet. having the hard feet though, because then you're less likely to hurt yourself when you're walking around barefoot. <laughs> Completely agree. I'm I'm a big barefoot walker. I like building up my callus. God, have you found that? <laughs> what? Have you? <laughs> have you? It's not funny. Have, have you found that quite frustrating here? Because. 
we're in the Czech Republic and they have a massive I know other countries as well like China and Japan have this they're massive slipper people and yeah, 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 you're yeah. like obliged to wear slippers mm-hmm. and I hate wearing slippers oh why I nearly fell down the stairs uh, the first five times that I came to visit this country and wait I, in a house or in an apartment uh, in a house like on stairs oh, okay. uh, but, but people people have slippers for everything here they have slippers for school doctor slippers no they don't yes they do they have slippers at school kids have to have slippers to go to school Wow! If they I don't have slippers, that. they get in trouble. Like they, they, you have to have have slippers because they don't like bringing the. They don't want to wear the outside shoes in. Exactly. Like British people, some will make you take your shoes off when you go into the house, right? Uh, yeah, Does and, and they'll that? get a slap around the head. That's the. Uh, <laughs> well, you go to. I, I've been to friends, not friends of mine, but like parents. You know, as a kid, you'd go to someone's house and they'd be like, "Oh, we take our shoes off." And I'd be like, "Oh, it's a bit weird." Okay. But, okay. Yeah. but some families do it. Well, it's, I was—I actually think the other way around. I think the UK is one of those terrible offenders that they don't take their shoes off. Yeah, we never take our shoes never off. take our shoes off. And like we just walk into the—we have to replace our carpets every ten years. <laughs> yeah, it's enormously expensive. <laughs> terrible. But it's weird. It is a bit weird, and I do like having my shoes off at home. <laughs> Right. Wow, that was back, a tangent. Jumping back to toothpaste. Here we go. So archaeologists recently I got, found... I was, I was where in are you London going? last weekend. <laughs> and I just want to know like, how, re- how useful is toothpaste? Because I was in London for two nights and I, I, didn't, I never take toothpaste when I travel because I don't want to have to... I don't take any liquids. Like I have a okay. deodorant stick, like a stick deodorant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's it. Because I don't want to have to, you know, take all my shit out of my bag at the airport. So I don't bother. And every hotel, you just, you know, there's either a kit there or you phone up and you're like, hey, can you bring up some toothpaste? Mm. In this hotel, they were like, toothpaste is six pounds. No. And I was like, fine. I'm just going to brush my teeth with water. Yeah. And it was fine. <laughs> I had a mint. I brushed my teeth with water and it was fine. I'm not paying six pounds for toothpaste. Interesting. I mean, I suppose. It was some fancy toothpaste from some fancy company but something that the queen that. something that the queen would use yeah i mean i mean i, mean, I suppose all really that the like because they say you can use charcoal as well to, to brush your teeth you can use like charcoal it's not a good look though it's not a good look not a good look but i think it's just a slight abrasion that's all it is isn't it really yeah, and which makes well, it's charcoal toothpaste right exactly exactly but you can also get like charcoal like powdered charcoal and you can basically dip it in and it's supposed to whiten your teeth and i imagine the only thing really that toothpaste does Nice little tangent about toothpaste. Do you know what? They, okay, that was, it was a massive selling point of, of toothpaste that to- toothpaste never sold before. It wasn't a real thing, mm. and people's teeth were terrible. And they had to, they had to uh, create like a habit to make people clean their teeth. And the way that they did that was by putting citric acid into the toothpaste. That's to make what it foam. That's, no, not to make it foam. To make it to give you that feeling of I've brushed my teeth. Ah, that clean feeling because so, it's not really necessary. No, it's not necessary. Like like all the good toothpastes don't need that like you you can brush your teeth and your teeth will be perfectly clean without any feeling of tingling uh, however it's that citric acid that gives them created the habit that allowed um, people to have good hygiene uh, not to, have, to encourage it no to sell toothpaste oh. it was it, that was <laughs> well, the, yeah you do one and you get the other that was exactly it's a nice feeling it's that thing that makes you go oh yeah and like i love brushing my teeth <laughs> and then i it's get true. that nice I, I don't like it like going to bed without brushing my teeth is not a good time. I can't do it. It's, it makes me go mad. Like it's, uh, I'll brush it with my finger. Like, oh yeah, definitely. Get right it. in there. Anyway, so archaeologists recently found what <laughs> <Sorry>. appears. <laughs> no, no worries, no worries. We're jumping back. Uh, so archaeologists recently found what appears to be a more advanced toothpaste recipe and a, and a how to brush guide written on papyrus. Ah, shit! I said it was a rock. It was papyrus that dates back to the Roman occupation in the fourth century A.D. The unknown author explains how to mix precise amounts of rock salt, mint, dried iris flour, and grains of pepper to form a powder for white and perfect teeth. Wow. Look at that. Back, so 2,000 2, years ago. I had to go to the dentist to pay them like 400 euros to make a teeth whitening tray, so I got rid of my, so my teeth were white. Really? Yeah. Did you get like the proper peroxide stuff? Yeah. Oh, nice. It's really effective. Is it? Because yeah. I had yellow, yellow teeth because I drink a ton of black coffee. Yeah. And I was like, uh, I, I say it's not a vanity thing. It's part of vanity. Thing. It's also like <laughs> all I do is appear on camera all day. Yeah. So I was like, okay, I'll do this. You know, <laughs> it's also 2019. I can wipe my teeth if I want. Exactly. Exactly. Um, yeah. I paid like 400 euros for a bloody tray. It's so expensive. And since then I've had braces. So uh, now I have to get another tray made. Jeez. Which sucks. Oh, that's, that's obviously the previous tray doesn't fit. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, how, how does that how does that work? The whole whitening of teeth thing. Like, do you have to do you sleep with it or? Yeah, um, they make you a tray. Does it not burn your gums? 
No, it's like it's a really light solution of it or whatever. It doesn't doesn't do any damage. And then you just put a little bit of this uh, peroxide stuff in it or whatever it is. I'm mm. not sure. And then you put it in your mouth and you sleep in it. And then you wake up and your teeth are a little bit lighter. And then you do it for like two weeks. And by the end, it's like ding Hollywood. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I've got a friend because I know that here in Europe, basically our our laws as to what we're allowed to use are, is a little bit more strict than over in America. Uh-huh. Uh, hence why everyone has big Hollywood white smiles and. In, in America I think and we just also care less yeah. oh I don't maybe maybe I think, it's I don't know, I, I, I don't know. I, I'm not sure but I had a friend he, he said you can order it off of eBay you can get the proper actually oh thank you thank you oh, Simon's pouring me an extra tea to make sure my teeth are as white as possible for the upcoming upcoming yeah, <laughs> YouTube appearances drinking black tea it's not it's not brilliant um, but no he said you can you can buy the actual real sort of Hollywood peroxide stuff off of eBay and he said it works five six times faster than what we can get here in Europe yeah, and I bet it does I bet, <laughs> but he said he, he said he woke up after a week and his teeth hurt and he was like oh, oh, I better no. I better oh. stop using this <laughs> there's something there's something fundamentally wrong about teeth hurting yeah sorry oh. where were we uh, we'd actually we'd just we we were we were just spitballing about about recipes about uh tooth tooth uh, have you got, have you got any tooth toothpaste recipes that you've concocted? No, dude, I buy my toothpaste like a normal human being. Colgate, <laughs> usually Colgate. <laughs> yeah, 